Hey brothers and sisters, I have a clip from Brother Barry Scarborough that I found very encouraging today. So I just have a quick little three, maybe four minute clip of his from one of his videos today that I just thought was extremely encouraging and really helps us to understand why we're watching in these last days. And then I just have this little picture here that I'll read to you. I will watch today, I'll watch tomorrow, I'll watch the next day, I'll watch the next week, I'll watch next month, I will watch as long as it takes. And I wrote that before the September 23rd, um, 2017 Revelation 12 sign, because I will just continue watching as long as it takes, because we clearly see the day drawing near. Hallelujah, it's clearly coming soon. He's clearly coming soon. Here's the clip. Things that are happening as precursors to the, we, we don't know this. So again, let's just be really careful that we don't get overly dogmatic. It's important to study. So Proverbs, I believe it's Proverbs. Let me see if I can pull it up right here. Proverbs 20. Okay, let me see if it's this. Okay, yeah, Proverbs 25, two. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter. Conceal what? Like what? But the glory of kings is to search out a matter. So we're we're searching things out. As I've said many times before, why Hebrews 10:25 says encourage one another as you see the day approaching. That gets us that gives us perspective that we will have an understanding around the day. Revelation 3:3 3, 3 says so remember what you've received and heard and keep it and repent. It's a great time to get down on your knees and just continue to ask the Lord for forgiveness. When you are saved, you are saved eternally, but asking and just continuing to bring his, his Holy Spirit um, into a better place in your life by asking for forgiveness. You love it when your kids come to you and say, oh, I messed up. I'm sorry, Dad. Right? It doesn't save you, but boy, it puts you in right relationship. Therefore, if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. I've shared this many times with you guys. Let's take the inverse of that verse. Therefore, if you do wake up, I will not come like a thief, and you will know at what hour I will come to you. So it's it's very clear in Revelation 3, 3, Hebrews 10, 25, and I'm going to go to this last piece. I, I have five verses that really support the fact that we will know, we will have an understanding of his return. There are reasons, Acts 2, 17 to 21, that believers are having dreams and understanding these times. So let's go to 1 Thessalonians 5. What, As you know, what I reject is, well, well Jesus is going to come, you know, tomorrow morning at 5.32 a.m. and crack according to my 15... Ca okay, ugh. okay, we know we're in the season. We know we're in that time. But let's also be careful that we don't come down on brothers and sisters that are saying, man, could the Lord come on Sukkot this year? Could he come on Feast of Trumpets? Could he come in August? Could he come in July? Could he come in Christmas? Let's don't just rain hell on people. What are they doing? They're, they're eagerly awaiting, as it says in the book of Jude, the blessed hope. So just can we cut people some grace? Yes, I don't agree in trying to pinpoint some second hand, but just cut people some grace. They're eagerly awaiting. They're 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 uh, standing at the door waiting for Dad to come home. So first First Thessalonians five verse four, but you brethren are not in darkness that the day would overtake you like a thief, for you were all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. So then let us not sleep as others do, but let us be alert and be sober. That's a warning to this generation. Just just be alert, be sober, don't be freaked out. It's a, it's a balance, isn't it, right? Because we can get freaked out, we can be asleep. The Lord wants us somewhere in the middle, alert and sober. What I love about what he pointed out there was that we can clearly see the day approaching. As we see the day approaching, I just... It just got me excited when I heard that because it's like we are in the season. We are in the season. It is so clear. There are signposts to tell us 
that we are in the seasons. And again, as he mentions, Acts 2.17, this has been on my heart today too because I was listening to the Austin French song, what, uh, is it called Wide Open? Oh, wow, I completely forgot. I'm just listening to it. Wide Open. It's just kind of in my head right now. So I was thinking, okay, is it Wide Open? Um, dang, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. What's wrong with me? But anyways, that song, it's just amazing that how God woke me up one morning with Austin French Dove. And I woke up that morning and I'm like, what does that mean? And when my mother and I looked it up, we found the Dove Awards and the song that Austin French had sung. And the only thing that's coming to my mind is wide open right now. So maybe that is the song title, but I know it's the chorus. But anyways, at the end, it's like... um, Okay, I got the lyrics. When they lay me down, when the road runs out, won't be the end for me, I see eternity. When you will part the clouds, I'll hear the trumpet sound. My faith will finally see the hope in the future that you promised me. And I feel like by sharing this again, I'm reminding somebody out there who's really feeling, you know, they're groaning inwardly right now and they're thinking, what if we're wrong about the timing or they're just feeling depressed or they feel stressed or just scared or whatever the case, like, just like this world is so evil, I want out. I was having a horrible week or a horrible day. I don't remember exactly. It was it was just a, a bad day or a couple days. I don't remember. I'll have to go back to my actual video to listen to it and actually see my exact circumstance. But I was feeling, I remember I was feeling down, you know. It was just kind of feeling like that groaning inwardly feeling. And so when I did that, I woke up to Austin French Dove and so as I was scrolling through the lyrics, I'm like, okay, this isn't really relating to me, most of it. But I just had this feeling that the further I go down, there is going to be a lyric that is going to uplift my spirit because I just really knew it was from God. Austin French Dove. And then I looked it up, Dove Awards. He won a, I guess he won a Dove Award or was nominated for a Dove Award for that song. And yes, since I started that clip, it is the song Wide Open. I don't know why that just slipped my mind. But it's just God is really showing us these little encouraging moments in our lives as we wait and we watch and we encourage one another with these words. And thank you, Brother Barry, for your encouragement. It's just such a blessing. And all the other watchmen out there and all of you commenting and all of you out there just sharing and loving. God bless you all.